hello. Hello, hello. This is the Angels in Politics broadcast. Of course, I am the White Collar Goon, the creative and artistic manifestation of Angels in Politics. Remember, you are the news, and I am glad that you are here with me today. All right, I want to let you know, um, I want to give you some uh, advice, not necessarily advice, I just want to tell you something that helped me out earlier. I was at church, I was in church a few days ago on Sunday, and my pastor had a lesson, and the theme of the lesson, or the title of the lesson was, you've gone too far to turn back now, okay, that was, thank you, and shouts out to Pastor Dr. Veronica Coleman, because that's exactly what she spoke about, like, you've gone too far to turn back now, now with that, with that being said, like, what was she speaking about? She was bringing it all together and she was tying it tying it all into the fact that, hey, this is November. We have two months left in the year. And not only do we have two months left in the year, we have two months left in the decade. All right. We're going to finish this decade and then we're going to a brand new, like the 20s, right? The 20s. How people talk about like, oh, man, this was back in the 70s and Back in the 60s, we were doing this, and in the 80s, you know, shit got real. Like, 90s, shout out to the 90s, right? But, like, now, we lived through the 2000s, right? We saw the dot-com era and, and the dot-com bust and bubble, and then we experienced the 2010s, and the 10s were what? Like, well, if the internet was coming into play in the early 2000s, well, the internet was out in the 80s and 90s, but it became accessible, and open in the 2000s and the smartphone came out in maybe 2007, 2008. And in the early teens, then you have the emergence of, you know, social networks and social programming, right? We had uh, MySpace in the early 2000s, well, mid 2000s, mid to late 2000s. And, you know, you had Black Planet even before that, right? So MySpace was in the first. But then, you know, from 2010 and up, then Facebook is prominent. I mean, Facebook was out in the early 2000s, but Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything. Now we have social engineering and all of that came into play. And what happened with that was a plethora of jobs, a plethora of opportunities. What happened in the early 2000s, uh, cryptocurrency came into play. And it wasn't just uh, crypto. It was the blockchain technology. All right. So that was like the pro uh, proliferation of the Internet and how it disrupted the financial sector. So fintech or financial tech is taking off uh, biotech or technology within the medical field and biology is going to be taken off all right um real estate what happened in 2000 in the early 2000s to 2008 we experienced uh fluctuations we we experienced a lot of speculation there was a lot of involvement within the real estate um economy and uh, we experienced that recession in 2008. So that played into the tens, all right? Uh, 2000 and uh, whatever, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you know, things played all into that. So now here we are, 2019, two months left, less than two months left. We're going into a new decade. The reason why I brought all of that up is to like, kind of like, self-reflect for you all to self-reflect and for me too because when she was talking about you've gone too far to turn back now that's another way of saying like brother man you're in too deep homegirl you're you're in too deep right now you know what i'm saying you've already put yourself out there you've already spoken it into existence you've already written it on your little cards, on your mirror, like I have, your action has to match your ambition. Or the way I wrote, you are the news. Or the way I wrote in my notebook, I will be a multi-billionaire. Or I will be a tycoon. Or I will be a philanthropist. Or I will be whatever the case you said. Whatever you, whatever you placed, whatever you projected into the universe, to the Holy Spirit, to Jesus Christ. Did you pray on it? Well, if you prayed in the 2000s. If you prayed in the 2010s, if you prayed in the 90s, 
homies all coming together because we're going into 2020 and beyond. And that's where it's going to get real. And I think that's what my pastor was saying. She was saying, like, you're in too deep. You've gone too far. You can't turn back now. But she wasn't talking about that job at the post office. Shout out to the post office. She wasn't talking about that job at Walgreens and shout out to the CVS and those pharmacies. But she was really speaking about you. She was talking about you. She was talking about self-actualization. She was talking about manifesting your destiny. Not just manifest destiny like, yo, I'm about to move West Coast because there's gold out there and I heard there's a lot of good things out there and I heard there's uh, sunny weather out there and I heard that the women are a bit more receptive out there. Like, no, nah, I'm not talking about that West Coast. I'm talking about manifesting your destiny in the sense of what are your dreams? What, what is your purpose? What, what, no, like, really, what's your purpose? Like, why were you placed here? Why were you brought here? Why are you living, breathing, watching this video right now? What's the reason? Well, it wasn't just for you to look at me in my underwear. That's for damn sure. But I'm telling you, the reason is because you do have a purpose. You do have spiritual gifts. And you don't just have one. You have multiple gifts. You have multiple talents. You're a very talented person, all right? And with those talents, with those gifts, you must express them outwardly and exhaust them because that's the reason why God gave you those gifts. This is the reason why God blessed you with life, okay? So when she was saying you're, you're too far in, you made it this far, you can't turn back. She was talking about like, yo, you may not see you may not see the trees over the horizon. You may not see what's on the other side of that mountain. You might be in the middle of the desert and you're tired and it's hot and you're thirsty and you've been in the desert for it seems like ages, but you don't know that the oasis and the water and the creek and everything was on the other side. It's right there. But the fact that you can't see it, the fact that you don't know when that, that, you know, real estate deal will pop. You know, the fact that you don't know when, you know, those grades are going to come into order and, and come into play. And then you're going to get that scholarship to that university that you've been praying for, that you've been claiming in the name of Jesus. You don't know when that startup idea and that company and that entrepreneurial spirit and you've been linking up and you've been triangulating with believable parties. And you've been talking to your colleagues. And you've been talking to your people because you said, hey, we have ideas and I have ideas and I need to work with you. And you've been working for a long time and you don't know when that venture capitalist or that angel investor or that company's going to say hey i see what you're doing and here's a couple of million because i believe in you you don't know when that time is coming okay for that individual who's like me growing up when you were 10 when you were 11 you didn't know what was going to happen whenever you were going to travel for that basketball team or for that football team or for that travel basketball AAU team or for that travel soccer team all you were doing outside was just jumping rope you were still you were still doing suicides out there in the yard with the cones okay you were in your room with a, a deck of cards pulling out those cards on the floor and doing push-ups according to what you saw it was just training i had to talk to my homie the other day he used to run track for the university. Well, he used to run track at my university, George Mason, and uh, I spoke to him. We we met we met uh, a few weeks ago, and I had to grab a drink, and I just wanted to parlay and communicate with that brother, collaborate with that man, because we're gonna have some. Uh, there's gonna be some music that are dropping. There's gonna be some. There's gonna be some. Uh, some production that's gonna be coming out of that soon. But either way, I was spoken. I was speaking to that man, and he was saying how. Boom, boom, boom. Earlier that day, he was working out and he was training. And I said, brother, what are you training for? Do you know what he said? He wasn't training just so he can look nice for the ladies. He wasn't training just so he so he could have a, a you know, a, a flat stomach for the biddies. He wasn't saying, you know, he was, oh, I'm just training so I can stun on my homies and tell them like, yo, while, while you're putting on pounds and putting on weight, I'm just that dude who can keep running because I ran track in college and I was on a full scholarship and I'm bossed up and I'm dope shit. No, that's not what he was training. My man is training because he wants to go to the Olympics. He wants to be an Olympian. Not only does he want to be, 
He has the process in order. He's gone too far to turn back now. He's in too deep to turn back now. This man is my age. If you're not going after it now, then when? I'm bald. I'm talking to the homie when I was running around the neighborhood, somebody who I went to school with, somebody who I grew up with, somebody who was in B.M. Williams primary with. Homeboy said, yo, bro, we 30. Like, we're, we're old. I said, nigga, you're old. Stop playing that game. I, and, I, and I didn't even say that. I said, brother, man, you're not old. You know I'm always about the positivity. I have to reverse, <laughs> uh, reverse engineer that way of thinking, recalibrate that, brother, man. We're not old. But I get what he's saying. Man, I'm old now, man. Like, this is just where I'm at right now. Let me just do this. Nah, brother, man. I got homies out here trying to be in the Olympics, and he is actively pursuing that. He has this process in order. Man, I got homegirl over here saying, man, she's starting her business. Fuck what you heard. She's going to she's gonna start making the wine, and she's going to put that online, and she has her own wine library, and she's going to be popping off with it. Okay? I was talking to my homegirl yesterday, and she says, I'm at this job, and I have my son, and I have a good life, but I'm trying to get my director thing popping. I'm trying, I'm trying to do my own, make my own films. Everybody's talking about this bullshit as, uh, we don't like a Harriet movie, or we don't like the whatever, whatever, and we don't like to support people like uh, Nate Parker when he makes Nat Turner because, you know, black people always have to find something to separate themselves on. But you know what she said? Man, I'm about to do my own thing. I'm about to make my own films. So we got people who already are on that path. And I'm talking about you. You're already in the path. Homeboys are, he's, he's going to be in the Olympics. Homegirl's going to drop the film. Okay? Homegirl is doing her thing. Homeboy is doing his thing. Homeboy, he said, hey, yo, football, football practice, football trials is when? In August? In September? Well, hey, I'm, I'm a year out and I'm already practicing. I'm already training. I'm already getting my mind right. I'm already doing my push-ups and pull-ups. I'm already running sprints outside. Do you hear what I'm saying? You're too far. You're too far to give up. Not only are you not too far to give up, like, this is where you're supposed to be, brother. This is where you're supposed to be. This is grind time right now. I brought up those, the real estate and the cryptocurrency, and I brought up uh, the, the past about social, because I'm telling you in 2020, there's going to be a new wave. A new wave of technology. You better follow the trends. You better be paying attention to the pattern recognition. Fuck what you, fuck what you heard. Real estate. Hey, there's gonna be another recession. Are you prepared? I'm telling you now. Cryptocurrency came through in 2008. Blockchain is gonna be everywhere. Are you prepared for the blockchain? Are you prepared for fintech, financial technology? Are you prepared for the biotechnology? Are you prepared for for you to drop your new shit? Are you prepared, prepared for that new social engineering, those new platforms? You may not be, but the people who have a plan, the people who've already manifested it, oh man, they're on their way and they're training and they're ready. They've been following angels in politics. They remember that they are the news. They know that they are popping. And you know what? When you see our face, you're going to know what we're about. Okay?